How's it going guys? My name is Zach with the Movie Castle and today we're going to be talking about Parents from 1989 directed by Bob Balaban and starring Randy Quaid, Mary Beth Hurt, Sandy Dennis, and Brian Midorsky. This movie's about the Lamely family. They're a nice little 1950s family, you know, a perfect 1950s family, or so you'd think. They move into a new house. It's completely modern by 50 standards, and actually a really cool set. Um, but once they go and they move in there, something happens to their young son, Michael. Now, Michael Lamely, he starts to get these weird dreams, and they're very surreal. And he also starts to, to get a feeling that he doesn't trust his parents and he doesn't really understand them. And he goes to school and he'll do things like what really gets them is he draws a picture of his family, then colors it all in red. But he'll also say just really weird and bizarre things like he'll say, you know, uh, the teacher asks the new kids to tell them something new and interesting, a new and interesting fact, because he's a new kid. And he says, if you take a cat and cook it in the oven and chew on one of its bones, it'll make you invisible. And the teacher's like, no, that's not true. Kids, don't, don't cook the cats. And you know, he says weird stuff, so they take him to the, the social worker, and they look at the family, and the dad is working at the chemical company, Toxico, a great little 1950s sci-fi name for a movie like that. And the mom is a perfect housewife. She spends all her time cooking these multi-course dinners, and they look really perfect. Um, so the parents appear to be good, but there is something strange and alien about them. Now, one thing I won't do in this interview, uh, in this review, is I won't spoil the movie. This is one of those movies that what the parents are really up to is told in little bits and it's actually a quite good reveal. It's interesting, but for some reason with this movie, people who review it, I guess because, you know, they want to tell more about the plot, a lot of people just go, oh yeah, it's about this, and you know, personally, uh, I knew what it was going to be about when I went in, and I, I wish I didn't, and like, even alternate titles, like I was looking through alternate titles for the movie, and I think it was like the German title just says what the movie is in the title, and I'm like, don't spoil it. Um, so be careful if you look up much more about this movie. Uh, that being said, I'll just get into, I would highly recommend this movie. This movie is very cool and very surreal, you know, some of the dream sequences he has but not just the dream sequences, just him standing there and looking at this weird, perfect 50s setting with just a little bit off about it. That makes it so surreal, it's so normal, but you know there's something off. You know that it's not quite right. Um, the best way to describe this is this is like a haunted Norman Rockwell painting, you know? where it seems good and pleasant, but it's, it's, it's off. And on top of that, you know, the themes of kids not necessarily trusting their parents is this weird thing, because there is a distance between kids and parents, and this movie made me think about, you know, how I felt when I was a kid, and adults would do things that you just wouldn't get, because you were young, and you didn't understand the world fully, and that was something I hadn't really thought about a lot, and this movie gets you thinking about that, because when you're a kid, all these, you know, social constructs that you eventually learn, you know, on your, as, on your time on this planet, you re really forget that at one point you didn't know them, and the eye of the kid is really interesting and honest, uh, he also has this friend uh, who's the daughter of one of his dad's friends, uh, his boss, I think, and she's also weird. She claims to be from the moon, and, you know, you kind of see their world versus the adult world, and it's really cool. I, I had heard about uh, this movie a little bit, 
and I had it on my list for a while, and I thought it's probably a, a funny slasher movie or, you know, just an over-the-top thing. Uh, way, way later down the line, I think it was only last year or maybe the year before that, there was a Nicolas Cage movie called Mom and Dad, which I'll probably get around to reviewing sometime on this channel, but I expected it to be a lot more like Mom and Dad, and it's actually a really serious, surreal movie. Like, if you film this in modern, uh, a modern camera and modern, you know, techniques, you could pass this off as an A24 movie, you know? Um, but that being said, uh, watch it before it gets spoiled for you, because this is one that people decide, hey, let's just spoil it. And check it out. This really should have been thought of as more of a classic, and more people should have known about this, but I it didn't get as big an audience as it should have. I guess the surreality of it doesn't really approach to a wide audience, and there can be some moments that are really just, you know, it's like, wow, it's really surreal and, and weird, and maybe that's what kept it from getting widespread, is probably just a marketing thing, it seems like half these things are when there's a great movie that doesn't get well known, but check this out before it gets spoiled for you. It really should be thought of as a horror classic, or I don't know. I just watched it. Maybe I'm too over the moon with it. <laughs> um, but I really liked it. Uh, check it out. Uh, anyway, I'll have more movie reviews. This actually came on a uh, double pack with the movie Fear from 1990, and I will shoot a review for that too. Anyway, I'll have more movie reviews coming very soon. I hope you all have a really great day, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.